Namaste everyone. I'm Zubi and this is Alicia. Annyeonghaseyo yorabun, Alicia ba, Zubi mida. So today we're going to talk about festivals. Yay! And two festivals, one from South Korea and one from India. And, and what are these? Chuseo from South Korea and Diwali from India. So Zubi, what is Chuseo? So Chuseo is a major harvest festival of South Korea and North Korea. It is also known as the Korean Thanksgiving. It lasts for three days and this year Chuseok will be celebrated from 30th September to 2nd October 2020. So Zubi, are there any traditions related to Chuseok? Yes, there are traditions related to Chuseok. People from large cities travel to their hometowns and pay respect to their ancestors. They visit their graves and also they celebrate the good harvest of this year and also pray for the harvest of the next year so that it can be good. So how Chuseok is celebrated? So Chuseok is celebrated uh, by eating a lot of food, giving gifts and a lot of exciting activities are done during this time. And any important foodstuffs or which is very uh, you know popular? So Chuseok is celebrated by eating special foods which are called Sangkyeon. These are rice cakes which are filled with sesame seeds, chestnut and red beans. They also drink a special type of wine which are the rice wines. These are of two types. These are called Shindoju and Tungtungju. Wow, food is you know literally I'm carving for they this. Are the, they are the most important thing of any festival and it excites us right yes and uh, what are the do they exchange gifts or something yeah like yeah, yeah yes Please giving tell. gifts during chuseok is very popular in korea some of the common gifts which are given during chuseok are gift vouchers cosmetics cooker and olive oil uh, electric yes, appliances <laughs> yes yeah, i know those are also common and, and uh, important. tell us about uh, something expensive is there yeah anything? there are some of the gifts which are very expensive and which are given during chuseok which includes the pine mushrooms which are very expensive and red ginseng and the most expensive gifts are the six bottles of the wine from the lot department stores wow i'm really you know i'm carving and uh, i want to visit south korea in chuseok so that i can witness it yes and there are a lot of games which are played during chuseok yeah. games yeah there are some games which includes serum Chug of War, Korean Wrestling, and Archery. And these games vary by region by region. So now let's talk about Diwali. And Alicia, tell us something about Diwali and how it is celebrated. Diwali is the most popular and important festival of, of the Hindus. Yes, of India. And it is its name is derived from two words. It is uh, Divya and Ali, which uh, literally means the coming of life. So when is Diwali this year? Uh, the, uh, this year Diwali is on 14th of November. Usually it is celebrated uh, during mid of October and mid of November. Okay. Yeah. Is there any symbols related to Diwali? Yeah, Diwali symbolizes victory over uh, darkness and uh, good over evil. That's amazing. Yeah. So are uh, there any traditions related to Diwali? How is it celebrated? Yeah. More. Yeah. People exchange gifts and return to their families uh, from wherever they are, and the people put like you so. Yes. They go back to their houses. Yes. To celebrate this festival with their family members. Yes. And uh, people put uh, diyas and uh, uh, small lamps in their offices and house to uh, to drive away darkness from their house. Wow. They look great really beautiful i have seen yes them. and the most important thing about diwali is uh, the hindus worship their goddess, goddess of, of prosperity, prosperity. Yeah. yes it is called puja the worshiping they do is called puja yes uh, and uh, then they bring coconut leaves to their home so that they can bring good luck and uh, this is how uh, usually people uh, celebrate diwali the, the most exciting part of Diwali is that people make sand arts in front of their houses yes. which are called Rangoli. You can also try it and make something in front of the, yes. your house and using the 
sand colors or the powdered colors. It looks very beautiful. There is no restrictions. You can draw anything and to then, bring good luck. Yeah, to bring good luck. And this is how uh, people celebrate Diwali. And the most perfect thing about Diwali is fireworks. Yes. Yay! The sky looks very beautiful at night. So, is there any special food that people eat during Diwali? Yes, actually, we love sweets. Eating. Yes, we and love food. Yes, and sweets. Sweets. Snacks. A lot of sweets. Uh, it is called kalakand and every laddu. Gulab jamun. Yes, oh my yeah. god, a lot and of. And lapsi halwa is a must thing during Diwali, which yes. people eat. And they also eat uh, uh, samosa. Uh, yes, yes. Samosa. snacks like samosa yes. and, and aloo tikki and chat, etc. People also, especially the girls, they yes. also draw henna designs on Yes, their henna hands, designs and really new clothes. Beautiful. And lot, uh, a lot of fairs, uh, and which are called melas, are also held during this festival. Yes, and this is how people uh, share their small happiness with their families uh, yeah. and friends. And it is an important, important festival which is celebrated like this, uh, like this, and will be celebrated like this only in the coming yes. generations also. Yes. And you can experience it if you ever come to India during Diwali. Yes. It is celebrated at a grand level. Yes. And everything is and so beautiful. And it is very Diwali. beautiful to yeah. witness. And you can buy stuffs. It is yeah. very reasonable. And you can eat a lot of street food, which are the main attraction during Diwali. Yes.